Good morning, internet world. We stayed right here where we got the truck wash. That blue building behind that Mac over there, that's the truck wash. We just dragged our butt right here, parked it, went to sleep. So now it's time for a new day. Let's get out there. Let's get this lumber that I picked up in Saskatchewan off my trailer in Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. And then let's see what they have for me to do next. I haven't gotten orders yet, but it usually doesn't take too long. I should have them in a little while. So the petrol stopping center in Fargo here is a massive truck stop. Got a restaurant inside, a TA truck service here, Blue Beacon truck wash. You got the fuel islands here, which is a separate building. Because petrol likes to do that. They like to put their their fuel pumps off to the side and their actual travel centers off to the right in the back over there. It's a big place. Showers, laundry, everything. But they don't have a cat scale, which I find interesting. They have, they do have certified scales, it's the same deal. But usually you'd expect to see a cat scale at a big stop like this. It doesn't really matter as long as the scale works. Detroit Lakes, Lakes of Detroit in Minnesota, not Michigan. Minnesota has their very own Detroit Lake. Multiple, obviously, Detroit Lakes. I've got to turn left up ahead here. That's why I'm in this lane. I can already hear the comments. What you doing in the left lane, Trucker Josh? Trucker Josh! Got to turn right here, okay? 200 meters, turn left on. Washington I already told them, Karen, you don't have to, to repeat me. 130 meters. She always has to get her voice in there. You notice that? She's always got to be part of the vlog. It's not about you, Karen. It's about me. <laughs> it's not trucker Karen vlogs. It's not GPS Karen vlogs. Oh boy, this is going to be a tight corner. Can I even get down here? Oh my, I'm going to have to make this tight toy. See if I can get around this tight little corner here. Oh my. That is tight, tight. We can do it though, we can do it. Nice, and I just kissed the curb. I didn't even go up on the curb. Nice. All right, we're on a right turn now. Really? Did I come in here the right way? This is another tight corner. This guy's parked illegally at the corner here. I don't think you're supposed to be parked that close to the intersection, my friend. That's okay, I can still do it. I can still do it. Look at this. I didn't even hit anything. Nice. Our plan now is to run up to Kenora. I'm not grabbing another load for Brainerd. It's actually gonna be going to Oak Grove, Minnesota. But uh, I don't have to deliver that until next week. So I'm going home first in between. So I'm gonna go grab a load in Kenora, head back home, because tomorrow when I'm filming this, this is the day before American Thanksgiving. Americans take their Thanksgiving very seriously. It's a lot bigger of a deal than our Thanksgiving in October up in Canada. Uh, everything America does is bigger, obviously. We're just used to that, right? So, American Thanksgiving. It's on a Thursday for some reason. So, everybody here in the U.S. is taking tomorrow and Friday off, obviously, because I would want to do the same. So, the rest of the week, we can't deliver anything in the U.S. So, I'm going to go pick up this load and get ready to deliver it after their Thanksgiving when they come back to work, all nicely fed, I hope. I hope you guys all had a great Thanksgiving. Happy belated Thanksgiving to you, my American friends and brothers and sisters. I hope that you had a good one and that you ate lots of food and that you completely gorged yourself and feasted. All right, looking at my fuel here. I'm going to be staying in Canada for a few days. Remember that. So I want to fuel here in the U.S. before going back home. Uh, cheapest fuel on my route today is in Park Rapids, Minnesota, about a half hour to our east. I'm going to cross into Canada at Rainy River, Ontario from Bodette, Minnesota. And go up that way. There's no toll there. Remember that. That's our new favorite crossing. When you're going to Kenora from Minnesota. So about a half hour east of here, there's a Simonson Travel Plaza where I can pick up fuel there. 
It's uh, four dollars nineteen cents point nine cents, so four dollars twenty cents per gallon. There, it's not the cheapest, but uh, it's not too bad. It's a lot cheaper than up in Canada. So we're gonna fuel up there, so that that will hopefully last me until I get back down to the U.S. to deliver that lumber next week. Get it? Got it? Good. Clear as mud. Now you know my plans. By the time you watch this, I will have already executed my plans, I'm sure. Your Thanksgiving will already be over, like I said. I hope it was good. My mouth is watering just thinking about all that food you're gonna be eating, or that you ate. I guess it's past tense, because you already that already happened for you, didn't happen for me. I hope the future is bright. You're in the future for me. I feel light as a feather again. All right, Karen, you want me to go right? You better know what you're talking about. Wait, I want to double check this. Why would you want me to go? Yeah, why are you telling me to go right? Oh, because we want to take... Oh, I see, I see. I see, I see. We want to take 34 and 34 is that way. Okay, okay. Just checking, just checking your work. Sometimes, sometimes your work is questionable, Karen. Always got to double check her work. Can't always trust her. She's not always reliable. She was made in the US, so, uh, or designed here anyway, probably made somewhere in like Asia, but she is from the US, so obviously she's in Thanksgiving mode right now and probably not paying attention that much. That's why she doesn't know the Canadian roads as well. All these companies who make these GPS, uh, they always make it for the US, obviously, right? And Canada sort of like added in there, like, hey, you guys can have fun too. Thanks, big brother. Thanks for letting your little brother tag along, I love it. But uh, the roads in Canada are not always as, uh, or the routes in Canada are not always as detailed as in the US on most GPS. So it's gotten a lot better, hey, it's gotten a lot better. I can turn right on red, right? In Minnesota? Yeah, you guys told me I can turn right, oh, it's green now anyway. Most places you can turn right on red. There's some places though, don't like it. I appreciate that. That's a good driver right there. She recognized that I would need a little bit extra space. On Friday evening is our work Christmas party. So I wanna be home for that. And celebrate the season with all the work friends, the coworkers. Those are always really fun. It's nice to be able to see everybody, right? Cause why well, as a truck driver, you're on the road all the time. You don't really uh, see people that often. It's a very, it could be a lonely job. I kind of like the solitude. I like working on my own. No one breathing down my neck. It's not for everybody though, but it works for me. But it's nice to be able to get together all at once and see everybody in a non-work environment. So there's that. And then uh, Saturday, Sunday, I'll probably hit the road with this load I'm picking up today so I can deliver it Monday. shall be good it's coming like now that the Christmas like that US Thanksgiving starting this means the holiday season is starting so from now all the way until Christmas there's pretty much everything uh, I mean every weekend has something going on some kind of Christmas party Christmas family gathering Christmas get-together Christmas meal oh it's full-on Christmas all the way to New Year Simonson. So I've never fueled here before, I've never even been here before, I didn't even know this place was here. But according to my fuel card app, I can fuel here and it's the cheapest price on my route for today. It's actually the cheapest price I'm going to find until next week. So we're going to top off the tanks here, I got a little over a half tank or so, but we're going to top it off here. Uh, this is the best price for me. I'm just going to go inside there and just confirm before I start pumping or anything that uh, my fuel cards are accepted here. 
Then again, it looks like they're, I could just fuel right at the pumps here. Okay, so if my fuel card works right at the pumps here, I can I can pay right at the pump here, don't even have to go inside, but I will to grab a coffee. But sometimes at these smaller truck stops, you have to go in there first, give them your fuel card, and then they'll turn the pump on for you. That's a, a common practice that a lot of places do, obviously, because people always just fuel up their tanks and leave, I guess. And people are crazy. They think that they don't have cameras everywhere, that they, they're not going to come after you. <laughs> they're going to get you. They don't steal fuel. They're going to get you. But sometimes you got to go in there first, get them to turn the pumps on. Other times you can pay with your card right at the pumps here. So we'll see. I'll try here first. If that doesn't work, I've got to go inside there. Either way, let's, let's get, this, let's get, the, let's get the juice in the tanks. So it worked to pay right at the pump here. I didn't have to go inside and get everything. It works just like a Flying J or Love's pump. Same, same deal. So the price actually went down by 10 cents a gallon in the half hour it took to get here from Detroit Lakes, which... <laughs> Okay, I'm glad it's not going the other way. So it was 4.19.9, what I said before, right? 4.20? Because I checked it on the app here. Now I double checked it once I saw the pump. I got here, now it says it's 4.099. I mean, unless if I saw it wrong, that's possible if I saw it wrong before. But in that case, I'm glad I saw it wrong because now I <laughs> feel like I got a deal. So 4.099 per gallon, per US gallon. I'm just doing all the math on this right now because I have to convert this for my records. So... You go uh, on to Google here, you just type in 4.099 USD to CAD. That's $5.62 Canadian per gallon. You go 5.62 divided by 3.785, divided by, not subtract, divided by, we're looking at $1.48.4 cents per liter, $1.48 per liter Canadian. So $1.48 liter Canadian CAD USD I filled up for uh, where's my receipt here filled up for 59.001 US gallons so again Google it's the easiest quickest way uh, you go 59.001 gallons to liters we're looking at 223.343 liters so 223.343 liters for fuel. I always do three decimal points just to get as accurate as possible. Same thing for the price. Like I, I put down here a dollar 48.4 per liter and 4099 per US gallon in the US. So 59.001 gallons. Our location, we are at, where are we here? Simonson Station in Park Rapids, Minnesota. So I write down here, Park Rapids, Minnesota, dash Simonson. And then when my pay stub comes with all of my expenses and my fuel ups, I match up that sheet to my sheet here to make sure it all lines up. And I also put it into an app here, which helps me with a little bit of math and stuff. It's called Fulio. It's not an ad for it, but it's the app I use. Uh, so I add my odometer in here. Price is $1.48.4 per liter, and I bought 223 liters, 0.343. Just punch that in, and automatically it tells me that I did 38.77 liters per 100 kilometers. 38.77 liters per 100 kilometers. Again, Google's your friend here. Let's go. 38.77 liters per 100 kilometers in miles per gallon. 38.77 liters per 100 kilometers is 6.067 .06 miles per gallon. 0 0.06 for miles per gallon i just do two decimal points so i'll round that up to 6.07 6.07 miles per gallon that is just above our target of six miles per gallon we like to get better than that but as long as i'm above six i'm happy so now i go back to my app now between this fuel up and the last fuel up i drove 576 kilometers and it cost me 
47.4 cents per kilometer. So I'll write that down in here as well. 47.4 cents per kilometer. That's pretty good. I'm usually hovering around 50 cents a kilometer on fuel. Cost me $331.44 Canadian. $331.44 Canadian. And on the U.S. side here, $241.85 U.S. $241.85 US. So this is what it's like being an international driver where I'm driving on both sides of the border where both sides use different systems of measurement. This is all the conversions I have to do uh, every day. Every day. So everything's metric, kilometers, liters. In Canada, in the States, it's all imperial. I guess they call it, I just call it American because they're the only ones that really use this system. I think there's like one other country in the world that uses this system. Uh, but they use miles. Uh, inches, feet, uh, that doesn't have to do with this though, but you know, like gallons, which is 3.785 liters is one US gallon. It's a different gallon than like British gallon too. It's really weird. But I go between the two systems all the time and I record both systems. I record it in my app here so that I have a digital record of it. And I record it on my paper here so that I have a paper copy of it in case that goes out. So this app is really handy, actually. I can go in my statistics here. I can find out my costs. So my costs this year, my average cost per kilometer is actually 66 cents per kilometer. I'm gonna have to look into that because my worst cost per kilometer is $1.24 per kilometer. I have to double check that. My average cost of operation per day is $275.65 Canadian. Average cost of fuel for me per month in Canadian dollars is $8,390.19. That's my average, what I'm spending. Uh, let's see what that is in, this is rounded up to $8,400. $8,400, one second, I did that wrong. 8,400 CAD to USD. 8,400 Canadian dollars equals 6,130 United States dollars and 61 cents. That's my average cost <clears throat> every month. Could be higher, could be lower. So the app is really handy that way. It'll tell me, like, I can find out how much I, I spent this month. I can find out how much I spent last year. And then I can take those numbers and match them up to my expense sheets. So when my pay stubs actually show up in my bank account and I get all of these paper records from my expenses, I can line them up to my own, make sure that everything jives properly. Not everybody is as uh, meticulous as me, I guess. That's fine. I get joy out of this. It makes me happy. to rock and roll. I'm ready to rock and roll. Okay. Up towards Rainy River. Next stop. How far are we away? Proceed to the highlighted route. 470 clicks. No, I don't want to cross it international. Oh, wait. Bodette, Minnesota. Yes, that's right. Rainy River, Bodette. Make sure that it's taking me to the right border crossing. I don't want to pay no toll. You raise your toll, it almost doubled it. It used to be 13 bucks or 13.50. They raised the toll at International Bridge to like $21. Well, guess what? Now you're making nothing for me. That's how it works. You could have made 13 bucks. Now you're making nothing. Off we go. that does not have a toll on it. In 800 meters, 
kilometers. Turn right on International Drive and add 72. We're going to cross over the bridge into Rainy River, Ontario. It's a much nicer drive, too, than going to International Falls. I don't know, I like it better. It's quieter. Right up here where we have to turn. I'm still getting used to this. Right after the bridge, there's this Canadian border this way. Right at the big fish on the right. You guys remember that rest area? How was that? With sort of like this little mini cliff right beside me here. Highway right here. I'm back. Except this time, I'm not on the side over there with the cliff. That's where I'd prefer to park. But it was already all taken up by other trucks. I'm on this side of the rest area, which is closer to the highway. Which is okay. I'd prefer not to be this close, but I mean, just for safety reasons, like this guy here, if it was a big truck coming past here, my fear would be what if he blew a steer tire, right? Just as he's coming up beside me here. What if they blow a steer tire at just the right time and then be pulled right into me, right? But that is highly, highly unlikely to happen. The stars out here are just incredible in Northern Ontario. The camera doesn't even pick them up, but there's so much to see out here. So I'm just gonna go and see how close I am to this guy here. I mean, I could close that gap a little bit more yet. I'm just gonna go to the back, make sure that there's room for one more truck parked behind me yet. Got these oversized loads here. They're parked in the spots that I wanted to be parked in. But, oh well. You can't win them all, right? So back here, just wanna make sure one more truck could fit in here yet. I think so. Oh yeah, plenty of space. Plenty of space for one more truck to pull in behind me. Okay, then I'm good where I am. Right on. Time to turn off the lights and go to bed. You can feel it in the air. Winter's coming. Minus six outside right now, according to this. That's still pl plenty of warm enough, plenty of warm enough for me to shut the truck off overnight. I'll have an engine heater. I have my engine heater that'll start up automatically on a timer, about two hours before I want to get going. Uh, so the engine will be nice and warm by then. It'll be easy to turn over. I got a bunk heater, a Wabasa heater for my sleeper and for my cab, so my cab will stay nice and warm. That way, I don't have to idle my truck through the night. That saves engine life. Tell you what, you want to wear out your engine twice as fast? idle through the night every night. So thanks for joining me today, everybody. When you're out there on the highways, when you're behind the wheel, please think of me in these vlogs. Just allow me to pass through your memory as, as you're behind the wheel. Remember this, keep your eyes on the road, pay attention, merge at highway speed. Let's add that to it. By the time you hit the highway, let's, let's make an effort as a group to, to as you merge into traffic, try to match the speed of traffic before you enter traffic. There's a new one for you. That, that was a special one just for today's vlog. Stay safe out there, everybody. Keep your stick on the ice, and I'll see you tomorrow.